Come on, start. Dr. and Ross here. And today we're taking your questions. So I chose the questions today, and I'm going to open it with a question on analingus. I know it's going to be all dog <laughs> fucking and ass licking. I know. <laughs> Is licking ass dangerous? Hi, Betty. I love your advice and bust and felt that you were the safest and most reliable person to ask this question. I've been with my boyfriend for four months, and it has been the most loving and sexual relationship I've ever had. The last time we had sex, he was giving me oral and started to lick my anus. Yay. <laughs> it felt amazing, and I had a great orgasm. However, I'm afraid that doing this might be harmful to him. Can he get sick from doing this? Thank you for having a site where people feel safe and confident to ask these questions. Cat. Here she is worried about the guy again. Well, that's, that's our role in life. Do you think we men have to worry if we're licking their assholes? Oh, I'm afraid she's swallowing my comment, she might, Dr. Betty, and she, she might, might get, get sick. sick. Ha, ha. Lick away, bitch. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. No. no, 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 there's nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, Uranus may be one of those cleaner parts on your body if you're both healthy and bathed. Moving on to question number two. Want to join my wife's girl party? Oh, this one sounds interesting. My a wife was asked to go on an all-girl party by a workmate. Mm. The other gal did not show up, but my bride went and met two ladies who got interested in her. Both were friendly, and my wife even modeled some sexy clothing on the, for the group of women. One actually took a very large and long double dildo and used it on her. Ooh, I would love to see her take a toy of that size. Um, to talk to one of the ladies, and she was willing to bring the toy for some hotel play. I love hotel play. Um, my wife is not sure she would enjoy herself with me being there. Probably true. How do I change her mind um, about seeing her with such a big toy? You know, it fascinates me that yeah. people want me, guys write me all the time, and they want me to help them <laughs> to help change their wives' or girlfriends' minds. And it's like, before that can happen, she would have to be writing the question. So the, the whole party thing is that the reason they're having fun... Is you're not there. Is it because it's all women. So, no, go Ask find... Ask her to take some pictures for you to masturbate to. So this could create your fantasy image. She's getting sexual energy outside the relationship in a safe environment, and it's exciting to her, and she can bring that home. So yes. ask her to take a picture with the double dildo and the women, no faces or anything, so you don't know who's who. Yeah. That would really be hot. Very smart, very and smart. And then I think that would be a good way to deal with it. And, and incorporate yourself in it, because if you ask her to take them before she leaves, she'll be knowing the whole time she's having this like sex romp, that you're going to see it. You know what I mean? And then she feels like she's a porn star, and that's kind of hot. Of course. You know? Okay, now on to question number three. And I really felt bad for this one, so I wanted to cover this. Oh. 23 and lost my libido. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm a healthy 23-year-old woman in a great relationship with a man who is very attentive and good in bed. She didn't say great. She said good. Along with be being a great partner outside of the bedroom. Uh-oh. <laughs> good, good in the bedroom, great outside. Great outside, uh, okay. Unfortunately, I just don't want to have partner sex. It's been this way for months, and honestly, this has happened in almost all of my relationships as well. Dest despite my disinterest in partner sex, I still masturbate on a semi-regular basis. Oh, darling girl. First of all... What is a libido? I, I always get, you know, I don't know what it is. Wanting to have sex. Oh, like please, desire. Please. I mean, you want to have sex at the very beginning of a relationship when you first meet someone yes. and you've got all that juice running. But if it's someone you've been going with, it's like if I waited till I had the desire, I wouldn't do sex. I'd eat. But did I you mean, hear about that study? There was a huge study and they found that the theory is that desire precedes arousal and they found that arousal precedes desire. Thank meaning, you. Reach down, take a hold of your clitty, give it some action, mm -hmm. rub fantasize. it. Yeah, fantasize. Get out your vibrator mm -hmm. and get a little juice going, and you'll be surprised. Whatever that libido thing, it's there. It's there. And don't think <sighs> that you're just going to like wake up in the morning, come out of the shower, and it's going to be like, I have to fuck. I right? got a boner. No. I got a boner. No, 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 it doesn't I could have ride cock right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the one you just pulled up. Okay, okay. Which is... Why would, my, dry humping. why would my boyfriend prefer dry humping to sex? Hi, Dr. Betty. First, I just want to say your advice is wonderful and your tips have helped me out in the past. 
So she's a repeat customer. Yes. I have an issue with a new boyfriend that I could use your advice on. He's very good at manually bringing me to orgasm. I love a guy with good fingers. Um, however, when it comes to actual intercourse, I'm a little confused. After a session of foreplay, for some reason, it seems that he only wants to dry hump. He likes to rub his penis against my vagina and thrust, but only through clothes. Oh, see, I like that, like, naked. When someone rubs their, their dick, the and head of the so, dick on your clit, okay. I've had great orgasms like that. But through clothes? Mm. That's the dry part. I've been able to take charge and parlay this into actual penetration intercourse, but it only tends to last a minute or so, and I'm tired of having to be the one always to initiate it. So I guess I have a multi-part question. Why on earth <laughs> would he prefer dry humping to actual intercourse? Why is it so brief when it does happen? And could these two things be related? Thanks so much, Dr. Betty. No kidding, related. <laughs> so the whole point here is that he likes to dry hump because the sensation lasts longer. The minute he penetrates your nice wet pussy, boom, it's all over. I would prefer to teach a man how to prolong. Why should why should the woman put up with, you know, he's rubbing the side of their leg or, you know, behind her ear, under her neck, you know, between her labia, up oh. between her ass cheeks. You know, she, it's great to have a, a penis inside the vagina and really get into it some feels nice good. action. Yes. So Stroke. He needs to learn how to prolong his erection. He does that through his masturbation practice. His Kegels. And, yeah. And now there's some no. guys keep them tight to, to you know, to, to control it. You mean Others, they keep their muscles they tight? They tighten it and that's keep from them. coming. Others tell me that they get better result when they completely relax. Really? That's so interesting. Yeah. So Eric talked about that in uh, in the book. Or, uh, well, we also have um, a post that was under the blog section, the front page, that Eric wrote on ejaculation. So yeah. that could be something he could do. Is he's you know you can control when you ejaculate. Men don't think they can, but they you can. can. Yes. So, so that that boyfriend he, needs to uh, to get in control of his dick, or you need to just relax and enjoy mm -hmm. the outer course, which is what he's doing. And he's doing the foreplay, and his fingers are yeah, good. Yeah, So I love fingers. It's not a bad deal. It's like junior high all over again, dry humping and fingering. That's what I <laughs> it's thought It's kind of nice.